Hey everyone, Paul here from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk about compression knee sleeves, why you should have them, what to look for when you are trying to purchase a knee sleeve. Um, and so I am going to be talking about my two all time favorite compression knee sleeves today. We'll go through everything from why you should have it to uh, what type you should get. Um, just to let you know, I've been a physical therapist for those of you who have never watched my videos before for over 31 years. I have a tremendous amount of experience treating knees. I've seen many many knee patients from ACL tears to total knee replacements to meniscus tears and repairs um, to all kinds of knee injuries. So um, I have a lot of experience with it and I'm also very passionate about getting swelling out of the knee. So why should we wear a compression knee sleeve in the first place? Well the number one reason is to get rid of swelling. All right, um, swelling in the knee is a result from some sort of damage or invasion into the knee. It could be an infection or whatever it might be. Whenever somebody has swelling in there, it will automatically shut this quad muscle down, which could make it difficult for you to go up and down stairs and squat and do all of those activities where you have to kind of get down and get back up. So we want to get rid of swelling. Um, the two best ways to get rid of swelling are compression and elevation, which means getting your leg above your heart with your foot and knee above the heart so that the swelling can drain back out and you can get rid of it better. Um, ice is not a good way of getting rid of swelling, but compression is uh, my favorite way of doing it. The reason I like people to use knee sleeves, compression knee sleeves, for swelling is because if they use an ace wrap, oftentimes they're going to put too much compression in the wrong place could end up causing a tourniquet type of effect and we don't like that uh, either. So um, knee sleeves are easy to do. Um, it's important that you get measured up correctly for a knee sleeve so when you are ready to buy your sleeve, look at those sizing charts, get all of your measurements um, and that will really help you get lined up for which one is most appropriate. Now I see a lot of patients who come in and wear a knee sleeve for ligament stability. Let's say they've torn their medial collateral or their lateral collateral or their ACL. Um, and what they need to understand is that these braces do not have a lot of struts or hard structures to prevent the knee from becoming unstable. Okay, it's meant for compression. But one of the other things that a knee sleeve will do is improve proprioception, which is your ability to know where your joint is in space. Uh, so um, when you move that knee back and forth, you know if it's straight or if it's bent. When you have had an injury or swelling in there, your brain has a hard time identifying where that is. So a sleeve like this will help to give you feedback to your skin and give those messages to your brain a little bit better and a little bit faster. So it can be helpful in that sense. Um, people see these parts on the brace or on the sleeve and think that it's a stabilizing brace. You'll see it on this one also. Um, these do not give us any support whatsoever. This is very deceiving and it's a marketing um, thing and um, they don't support your knee. Uh, they are usually made up of a coiled spring in there or a little bit of a wire. Sometimes it's just like a little leathery material to make it look like it's a it's a brace with a hinge on it. Um, so don't look at that as a stabilizing feature. All right, what you're looking for here is good comfortable compression. The other thing you should look at in a sleeve is that it's long enough. Um, I don't like a short knee sleeve because what happens is they will bunch up in the back and cause you problems back here and they really don't help to push that fluid out and away from the knee back toward the hip very well. Um, both of these braces uh, have a nice soft material in the back of them. Very difficult to see on this one, but it's a little bit different colored here and the weave is a little bit lighter so that when you bend your knee, it doesn't compress and it doesn't bunch up back there. Um, so let's get into um, these two sleeves that I like. Um, this is the GenuTrain brace made by uh, Bauerfind. I've been using a brace like this for my patients for over 20 years. Couple reasons I do that is there's this nice big silicone piece right here that can help compress the fluid around the kneecap and get it back in there to help move it out. The sleeve is um, a nice solid sleeve. It's, it's very durable. They don't break down very easily. They're comfortable um, and very breathable. The other feature that I really like about this sleeve is that on the inside here, there are silicone pieces that help to keep the sleeve from sliding back down. Um, 
One of the downfalls of this sleeve is that it's a little bit on the pricier side, but you get what you pay for. It's a high quality sleeve that will last for a long time and uh, very you know, user friendly. Um, now, when putting your sleeve on, I'm gonna talk about this Incredoware knee sleeve, which is one that I've been using over the last couple of years and I've been extremely happy with. Um, and one of the reasons I, as a physical therapist, become happy with a certain type of sleeve is compliance. So my patients use these and they're very happy with them. Um, when you put the sleeve on, the wide side should be on the top. Make sure that you get that correct so that you don't put the sleeve on upside down like this because if you put the small side where your larger part of your thigh is, it's gonna be very compressive and it's not gonna be very comfortable and it's gonna be doing exactly the opposite of what we want, okay? So we want that wide side on the top, smaller side or narrow side on the bottom. You take your sleeve, you slide it up and like most knee sleeves, you'll have this little target on where your kneecap is going to go. And so you slide this right up till your kneecap is in the center when you bend that knee. Now some of the features of the Incrediware that I really like, it's a, it's a lightweight uh, sleeve, it's nice and long, it breathes really well, super comfortable, okay? I really like this sleeve. It doesn't have the silicone pieces that the Jenny Train does, but um, it doesn't slide down. We don't have this problem. Unless you have a very um, conical type of thigh like this, you may have a difficulty, uh, difficult time wearing a sleeve like that. Other than that, it stays up nicely and is super comfortable. Um, so those are some of the features that I like in these two particular sleeves. They're my absolute favorites. Um, I do uh, have these uh, linked in the show notes, so if you're looking for these particular sleeves, you can just click on that. I am an affiliate, but it does not cost you any more to purchase those sleeves um, through our link um, than getting it anywhere else. So I appreciate you uh, watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a like and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.